Hi all, in this video we're going to look at how to use side chaining to increase the clarity of your mixes in Entrack Studio on mobile and desktop. Side chaining allows an effect plugin to process the audio signal from one track based on another track's signal. A common use is to adjust the dynamics of a bass track in response to a kick drum track or to reduce music volume automatically in a spoken voiceover. You can now edit a step sequence apart on the arrange window like a piano roll track. Because side chaining lets you control one track based on another, it's perfect for creating space in your mix or balancing competing sounds. Listen to the difference in how the bass track changes with sidechain active from the kick track. For sidechaining to work, the plugin must support it. Many compressor and limiter plugins include a switch for using sidechain or external input as a key signal. The N-Track compressor supports sidechain input, as do third-party compressor plugins such as FabFilter Pro C2. So, let's set up a two-track project in N-Track Studio with a bass line and a kick. Listening to the track, we can hear that the kick and bass compete for low end space. So let's look at how to create a clean, punchy low end by using side chain to make the bass duck every time the kick hits. On the track we want to alter, which for us will be the bass line, add the side chain capable end track compressor and change the preset to default. If we press the sidechain button, we can see that to activate it, we need an input. To use the kick track for the sidechain source, send the kick track's main output to the compressor's sidechain. Back in the compressor, as we adjust the ratio, we can hear and see the ducking effect on the bass line every time the kick signal is received. And we can refine the threshold and ratio parameters to alter the side chain effect. In the setup we just used, the kick track is being sent solely to the sidechain input and we can no longer hear it in the overall output. In most situations though, we'll want to hear the track that we're using as a sidechain input. To accomplish this, we'll use a send as the sidechain input and set the track's output to the master. So first we'll change the output back to the master output. Select add new send. and we'll change the output of the send from AUX1 to the compressor side chain. As we can hear, kick now sounds. And we can monitor the sidechain input by clicking sidechain in the compressor. Now let's use Entrack Studio on Linux to give breathing room to a vocal over some instrumental parts. In this example, we have a harp, a concertina, and a bazooki that are all competing for space with the lowish pitched vocal line. In this case, we're going to group the instruments and sidechain the vocal to the group to make it clearer in the mix. 
So we'll output the instruments to group one. Then we'll add a compressor to the group channel. And just like before, for the signal that we want to act as the sidechain input, we'll add new send. And then change the AUX1 output to sidechain. We can monitor the sidechain using the button on the compressor. Then we'll adjust the parameters to taste. Let's hear without the sidechain. And with. We can hear that the vocal beds way more into the mix. Let's use FabFilter Pro C2 to improve clarity between a voiceover and a music track. You can now edit a step sequence apart on the arrange window like a piano roll track. For example, you can long press and splice sections. We can hear that it's somewhat difficult to hear the spoken words over the volume of the music, which is louder. On the music track, which we want to control based on the voiceover input, we'll open C2. On the voiceover track output, we'll add new send and then change the output of the send to sidechain fab filter pro C2. Now let's hear how lowering the threshold and adjusting the ratio allows the voiceover, the controller track, to shine through. You can now edit a step sequence apart on the arrange window like a piano roll track. For example, you can long press and splice sections. You can now edit a step sequence apart on the arrange window like a piano roll track. For example, you can long press and splice sections. You can now edit a step sequence apart on the arrange window like a piano roll track. For example, you can long press and splice sections. You can now edit a step sequence apart on the arrange window like a piano roll track. For example, you can long press and splice sections. You can now edit a step sequence apart on the arrange window like a piano roll track. For example, you can long press and splice sections. Massive difference. Side chaining in Intrack Studio is a quick, versatile way to control a track based on another which will help to take your mixes to the next level. Let us know below if you have any questions. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you on the next one.